you have purchased the necessary party supplies. When you are ready, you can send invitations from your private terminal. What party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. 
count on it. Nice ink. But you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does it go? Tactful, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Great so far. This is really nice. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of the mission, it's a good quiet, right? But if it got a little crazier, I'd be okay with that. Relax. The night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Do you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR-3. It's Vas Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times with the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chapos apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. the future and respected the dead. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. Even long ago, your kind was never known for its intelligence. I mean restraint. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. That's a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. 
They croak and talk a lot, don't they? Let's keep it that way. I'd rather not buy new furniture. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, you're eating his food. I'd call that progress. Was that a joke? Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> In my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. What happened? You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Shepard? Hey, 
A hundred fortune? It is possible, yes. Better if I can melt them with my mind. Yeah, that would be awesome. Fifty thousand years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? So we thought about it, but a human and synthetic in love is just kind of weird. I admit I was very curious to see what happened, but perhaps you're right. Yeah, and if we ever broke up, well, nobody wants an angry ex equipped with a Thanix cannon. Shepard? Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. I think it's time to turn things up a bit. I will arrange for up-tempo music and additional cocktails right away, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' lung. Neither of you would last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the Watt light. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded him? Ha! Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Run? 
Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like why. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Hey, what's going on? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuffed with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well... You win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Hey! <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook some. Caden, just relax. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tony, please stop helping. What's wrong, dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... 
Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get earth dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. But wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program, so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. Don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know. Aw, oh, next you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. But everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. Thresher, maw, jerky. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fight on the completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. See the Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. What do you think, Samara? Are you enjoying the fun? Yes. Perhaps not with as much ferocity as other members of the team. If it gets to be too much, don't just disappear. Promise? I promise. What was the name? Uh, yeah, no. Hey, Shepard. So... You're leading the Grissom Academy students. Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. 
Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. You are a terrible human being, Shepard. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Well, that's good news. More drinks, yes? Jacob. L2? Yeah. Easy. Commander. No. I can stop bullets with my mind. Yeah.